Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and what I want to do today is talk about my 11 favorite exercises to do with people who have knee arthritis. Now, knee arthritis can be quite painful and uncomfortable, and uh, you know, oftentimes you're headed for uh, surgery for a total knee replacement, but there's really no reason why you can't continue to do some amount of exercise as long as you do it gently and um, you know very cautiously okay no need to go to an extreme when you're doing your exercises as far as pushing yourself but there are definitely some activities that you can do to maintain the integrity of the muscles in front of your leg and back of your leg uh, and below your knee so that you can help to build the strength around that knee and keep it as stable as possible now if you get better with these exercises and you have knee arthritis Icing on the cake, great. If not, you'll at least be stronger and a little more flexible before going into surgery and we'll have a better outcome as a result and understand how to perform those exercises better just to give you a better outcome. So the first exercise I want to start with is something called a quad set. Okay, And the way you do this, oftentimes when you have knee arthritis you can't straighten the leg all the way out. So I'll take like a rolled up towel like this and I put it under the knee and the idea here is to tighten this muscle and push your knee into the towel as much as you can, okay, without causing too much discomfort, but you're not lifting the heel up off of the table. You're keeping the heel on the table, tightening this muscle, and pushing down. You hold that for three seconds and then relax. I usually have patients do about 15 to 20 of these, and it's a simple quad set going to be one of the most important exercises you can do as far as developing better control to that muscle. Now, oftentimes you lose this ability to bend your knee. So one of the things you can do is called the knee flexion stretch. So you can take a towel or a belt or anything like that and you can put it around the foot like this and try to help bend it back. Be gentle with this because this is usually an uncomfortable position but what I prefer is a low load, long duration stretch. So it's just nice and easy. You're pulling back, trying to get a little pull there, and then relaxing that leg, giving yourself a break. Okay, then you'd pull it back, holding for 15 to 20 seconds. You can go up to a minute if you want, if you're comfortable with that, just to get a nice little stretch here. Okay, and that's knee flexion. Now the next one, is a straight leg raise and I like to do this in three different positions so that you can um, help build some strength around your hip. So we're going to do it on this leg just so you can see it a little bit better. Basically you can get yourself an ankle weight. I always recommend for anybody who is going to be having surgery or who has a lower extremity problem to get a strap that has 10 different weights that you can put in it so you can go from 1 pound to 10 pounds and that will um, allow you to vary that weight if you want to without having 10 different weights, all right? So the first one I like to start with is a straight up straight leg raise. So what we do here is you're basically tightening the muscle, keeping the opposite knee bent, uh, that helps to take pressure off of the back, and you're tightening the muscle, lifting the leg so that your thighs are parallel to each other, and then come halfway down, stop, and go all the way down. Then you're going to go back up again, come halfway down, go all the way down. I usually do 10 of those. Then what I'll do is do it on the side so your body is straight like this. You keep the leg straight, you lift the leg straight up and down. Nice and even like that. And then I would do 10 of those. Then I would pop onto my stomach just like this and lift the leg straight back to get the back side of the hip to build some stability there. And I would do that 10 times also. So I would do 10 of each, then start over and do another 10. You can do two or three sets of those and um, that would help to just build some stability in the leg and the thigh so that you can control that leg better because after surgery or even when that knee is not working well, the hip has to work in order to control that leg and move it around. The next exercise I like to do is called a long arc quad. So I'm just going to leave my weight right on here. And what you do is you find the range that works for you. Okay. And so you basically lift the leg straight out, 
the key here is to get this muscle working up here, okay? Don't push so hard that the knee hurts, but try to just work that range that is comfortable. And if it's just a modified range like this, that's fine. Do more repetitions, okay? That will help to get this muscle fired up and working a little bit better because it's gonna be the most important one to help stabilize that leg. So this is called a long arc quad. Some people like to do a short arc quad, okay? So what you do is you take, you know, uh, if you have a roll like this, that's great. If not, a two liter bottle of Pepsi, uh, a couple rolled up towels, you could even use a soccer ball under your knee. And what you're doing is you're starting in this position with the weight on your ankle and you're trying to straighten out the leg. And the key here is slow, controlled, non-painful movements and you're trying to get that muscle to work. It's not a bounce up off the table like this and using momentum. It's really slow and controlled. All right. And again, three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions is adequate. If you feel very comfortable and you feel like maybe you don't have enough weight, you can do a few more repetitions. All right. And that is perfectly fine. So those are your short arc and your long arc quads. Next. I really am a big advocate of calf strengthening, okay, because your calf muscle crosses your knee and so it's important that you keep those strengthened also. So you can simply hold on to a countertop or a table like this and with both legs you're going up on your tiptoes and back down. You're not leaning forward, you're really going straight up. If you feel like that's too easy, you can always make an attempt to try it with one leg and that is perfectly fine. Okay, so those are your heel raises to help strengthen up. Next exercise is going to be a hamstring curl. What we want to do is work on this muscle back here and while you have your ankle weight on you just hop off your table and um, you can just work on keeping your body straight. You're curling this up like this and again, you don't want to go too high if you're getting a lot of pinching in the back of the knee. Just work in this little limited range. And if that bothers you, you can just hold it in one position and still get that muscle to work and contract. Again, I like to do about three sets of 10 to 12 of these, and I might break that exercise up with some of the other activities. So that is the hamstring curl. Up your calves a little bit. Let's say that your calves may be a little bit tight. Okay, you can stretch that also. I like to use something like a belt, um, not an elastic. Now some people have bands like this and what happens is if you're pulling back you just have too much give. I like to have something that is really unforgiving, so like a belt or a towel. And what you do is you just sit here like this, you put the towel around the ball of the foot, not the arch of the foot, and you pull straight back and as you can see my calf muscle is getting the stretch here I keep a nice straight back when I'm doing this and I hold that for about 30 to 35 seconds and then I'll relax give myself a little bit of a rest and then I will pull back again calf flexibility is super important with all kinds of things from squatting to going downstairs um, and it uh, can take a load off of your knee if you have good calf flexibility Next thing I like to do is called the hamstring stretch. So you would take that same belt, if you would, you'd lie right down on your back, bend the opposite knee, and then what you do here is you keep this leg straight. Now notice I put the belt underneath my arch and not the ball of my foot, because what I want to do is I want to emphasize the hamstrings. So what you do here is you grab a hold of that band and you pull up till you feel a nice gentle stretch in the hamstring muscle back here. You might even feel a little bit up in the calf uh, and even some down in the uh, gluteal area here. Again, I like to hold this for 30 to 35 seconds and do four or five of these with a little bit of a rest in between. So while we're in this position, I thought we would work on some of the muscles on the back side by doing something called a bridge. And a bridge is really simple. Now, if you don't have back pain, um, this shouldn't be a problem. This is usually a really good exercise to help activate the hamstrings and the gluteal muscles back here. So what you're doing here is you're laying right flat on the floor or on a bed or on a table like this, bending the knees. Your hands are on the table. 
you're going to pick your bottom right up, squeeze the glute muscles together, hold it for a second, and then come back down. So you're not using momentum to get it up there and back down. And these I would typically do about three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions, as long as you're not having any back pain or knee pain with this. Um, if you cannot bend the knee enough to do this exercise, you can straighten the leg out a little bit and still get that exercise in. Or you could put your feet on a stability ball or on a chair and then pick your bottom up. And that's an alternative way to get those muscles activated without um, causing too much trauma to the knee. Um, so with that being said, folks, those are my 11 favorite exercises to do with um, folks who have knee arthritis. Remember, low and slow. Take it easy when you do it. Don't push through the pain because you have bone spurs in there and, and uh, an inflamed joint. You don't want to make it worse. Um, but you can certainly work on strengthening some of those muscles around that area. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.